What's going on guys and welcome to closing out the 29th week of investing on our channel and we are going to talk about what will probably be the largest loss of our portfolio ever. Um, yeah, so we'll dive into that. I'm going to park today just because I wanted to change the scenery. Uh, sick of being in the house. It's finally nice out. It's been raining in Boston. It's been gross for the past like week. So we're outside. We're at the park. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go over a couple things and uh, yeah, talk about why it looks like we're winning, but we're probably going to lose over the next month. All right, guys. So uh, we're going to start off in SoFi and we're going to take a look at the portfolio and what looks fantastic for, to be honest. I mean, I know the intro was a little rough. We're going to try to stay positive through this. We're outside. It's a nice day. Um, but as you can see up top, uh, we're cur currently at $10,152.17. Um, in the past month, we're up $1,667 dollars and 52 cents so that is a 20.62 percent return so you know I, I, I on the surface this looks pretty good so for anyone who's uh who's excited about that you know it looks pretty good total gains on the portfolio were up 2201 dollar and 84 cents um, two hundred ninety-three dollars and eighty-four cents of that are dividend payouts, which is stellar, considering we've been putting fifty dollars a day, Monday through Friday, into this portfolio since the beginning of the year. Uh, we are looking at some uh, pretty stellar growth. So, you know, if for, as far as things go, we're we're doing okay. Um, but we did make one of the biggest investing mistakes of my life sorry it's a little buggy out i'm in the park um and what was that huge mistake it was this right here so i was leaving my doctor's office it was early in the morning and um I meant to put in a limit order for a aptly call option which would be the option to buy um, 1,000 shares of Apple at $22 a piece on August 18th. So that's what I wanted to do. Instead, I accidentally um, put in a market order and there were no current orders open. I was the first person to put in a options order. So instead of paying $250 for that options contract, I spent $1,000 for that options contract. So what does that mean for this portfolio overall? Well, worst case scenario is if Apple is worth less than $22, I lose $1,000. <laughs> so that is, that is really not that great. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen. On the positive side, there is still a money-making opportunity for this. Um, you know, on one hand, I do think that Apple will go up, which is why I was trying to buy options on Apple in the first place. And I break even if the price of Apple is $23 over the next three, four weeks. So we have three or four weeks for the price to go up 75 cents. Could that happen? Absolutely. That's what I'm hoping for. And then maybe we make money and I look like a champ reason I haven't made any videos until today is because I have been coming to terms with the fact that I will probably lose $1,000 because that is how life works. Usually when you make a ridiculous typo while driving and trying to put in an order, you know, don't text and drive. It's, it's not only safe for people around you, it's not safe for your portfolio as I just basically yeeted away 10% of my portfolio. So let's take a look at this options chain. We'll take a look at, uh, you know, what everything else is doing. And then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll take it from there. All right. So we're in Seeking Alpha now, and we're just going to rip through this to see uh, what's performing best. So at the top of the portfolio, we have Tesla with a $1,979.75 value. We are still way overvalued in this, but we did get a massive dividend payout where we got more than six shares uh, for free this month. So that's huge. This is a monthly dividend payer, so that's pretty exciting. The price is at $16.52. And, uh, you know, most of this is on margin, but uh, that's fine. 
SCHD and Realty Income Corporation. These are bouncing back very, very quickly, and we are now in profit on both of them. Um, SCHD and Realty Income, this O right here, we do also put $10 every Monday through Friday into each one of these. So we're at $1,500.42 here. That's just over 20 shares. The price has bounced all the way back up to $74.97. So that's really good to see. Realty income also on the rebound. Um, we have $14.71.07 of that, 23.44 shares. This again is a monthly dividend payer. Um, but the price is back up to 62.75. You know, as I often say on this channel, if you can buy the dividend for above 5%, that is a stellar buy all the time. We are, you know, I'm not a wealth manager, credit counselor, financial advisor. I did just mess up and accidentally put in the wrong trade while driving. So for whatever my opinions are worth, <laughs> but we do have, um, we're at 4.89% on that dividend yield. So a, a tad lower than we've been buying it. But again, the price is up. So we're back in profit there. Aptly. So we have $1,137.43 of Aptly. Um, we did get a basically one and a half shares of free Aptly last month. And the price, it's saying it's at 2210. It's at 2225 and after hours. Um, so that's fine. These are my ridiculous call options, which make me sad every time I open my portfolio. Um, hopefully they make me glad every time I open the portfolio. <laughs> but as of right now, again, I am basically treating this like pending doom, um, but we have a lot of time. So we have time to uh, see some appreciation of the price of Apple. JEPQ, this is JP Morgan NASDAQ Equity Pre Premium Income ETF. We're at $855.42 there. Um, price did retrace a tad. This thing is on a rip run. Um, we're at 17.58%. Sorry, 17.58 shares. Um, you know, as Microsoft, Meta, Apple, Tesla, um, NVIDIA, as they're all pumping, that's what's pumping JEPQ. Um, this is also a monthly dividend payer, so I look forward to getting a juicy dividend next month. I think it should be pretty good. MPW, Medical Properties Trust, back up to the top of the $5 a day holdings. So MPW through AT&T down here, um, these are all $5 a day contributions, and MPW is leading the way. Um, we have $820.74. This is our best performing asset in our portfolio. Um, wow. So we have 79.37 shares and the price guys is all the way back up to $10 and 34 cents. This forward dividend yield is still above 10%. Everything about this looks fantastic. Um, so I am very, very happy to see that. I mean, we are way outperforming, um, really anything in the portfolio with our MPW position, dollar cost averaging into that was unbelievable. Um, we're, and we still are. So I, I still think we'll see some retrace in the price of MPW. I think it'll continue to climb until the stock price man, or matches the uh, equitable value of the company's assets. So I should do a video recapping that. Um, BlackRock, this is another one that's kind of rebounded and rebounded in a big way. So we're at $796.40 there. That's 1.06 shares. Again, we're finally a full share of BlackRock, which is great. Um, priced at $751 a share. It feels like a month ago, this was 630 bucks. So that's a huge price appreciation. They did announce another dividend that will come out and it is the same as the dividend they paid out a couple months ago. Um, so no increase to the dividend for this quarter. Um, Pepsi right beneath it, we have $767.34 there. That's 4.04 shares. The price is back over 190, so that's awesome. Um, $190.16 per share. Uh, and they did announce their next dividend would again be the same. Um, no increase to the dividend this quarter. Jeppy, JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF, also starting to rise. That's a really good thing because this has been kind of stagnant for the past like year. Um, so to see the price increase is, is nice. Um, it's not just a monthly dividend. There are holdings in here that have value and that's a, being 
we've seen here. So we have uh, $760.42 there. That's 13.61 shares at $55.88 per share. Um, Procter and Gamble also kind of holding tight. Um, so it's it, a lot of good news in the portfolio this week, which is great. Um, but Procter and Gamble's at 757.31. We have 4.95 shares, almost to five total shares on that. And the share price is back up to 152.93. So like, what was it a week ago? It dipped back down to 145. So that's kind of exciting. 2.4 is usually where this Procter and Gamble dividend sort of hovers. Um, but we are going to see a nice little dividend payout coming up soon from Procter and Gamble. So that's kind of nice. And lastly, bringing up the rear, we have AT&T. So um, AT&T stock, it's, we have $612.55. It is the worst performing thing in our portfolio. Um, we have 41.5 shares, and that is down to 1476 um, part of the growth that we have this week to combat the chaos of my, um, I did a lot of trading this week, which I don't normally do, but, um, I did buy when AT&T was down to, I want to say $13 and 20 cents. I bought some call options on it and sold them. Uh, they were in the money. So there were 1350 call options, uh, bought them in the money and then sold them for, I want to say like, a. 4x profit which was awesome um so you know part of the month performance is me trading in this account so that i'm not depressed by the ridiculous loss that i may incur may not incur but may incur um while clicking the wrong button and buying a thousand dollars of stock while driving not even stock options so buying a thousand dollars worth of options while driving <laughs> Again, don't text and drive. So uh, a couple more options down here. I have some JetQ positions that are a little more on the long term. Um, but even with our ridiculous $1,000 of margined call options, um, we only have $2,516 of margin in the portfolio at this point. So um, we really have like cut out most of the margin in this dividend income portfolio. Um Aside from if I can sell to close on those Apple options, that would be great. Uh, that is the goal over the next month um, to sell some of those to close them out. But either way, we'll play it by ear. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, we make some money on it. And if not, I am preparing to lose. All right. So in short, we're going to just wrap up with our YouTube channel tracker. Today is July 23rd of 23. Um, weight and weight loss we're not tracking right now, but I am starting to go back to the gym early in the morning um, starting tomorrow. So that's exciting. Um, I did get into the gym a couple times. I've been a little more active, which is cool. Uh, trying to be outside when it's nice out. Um, but in summary, investment balance on our YouTube channel portfolio is $10,152.17. We have earned $293.84 of dividends on that so far this year. Total growth is $2,201.84. Total YouTube income, $100. Total subscribers, $1,790. To the new subscribers, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, welcome. To the old subscribers, I appreciate you as well. Thank you for sticking around. Total views, we're at 209,293 total views. And a total watch hours time frame of... 3878.2 so youtube channel's going well you know hopefully we don't get smoked by this uh by this options trade that i am very very sad that i did that um but again maybe it'll work out we'll see i think it may um i hope it does that'll be fantastic and uh buckle up for a ridiculous august <laughs> i guess that's it i wish you happiness health and wealth and with that have a good one